Next on Comcast Newsmakers, the most populated county in the state needs tens of millions of dollars to maintain roads and bridges. Where will the funding come from? That's coming up. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. Today we are in downtown Seattle, in fact at Seattle City Hall. And joining me right now is Fred Jarrett, who is the Deputy King County Executive. Thanks so much for coming on the program. It's a pleasure to see you. A pleasure to see you again. Thank you very much. You bet. King County, one of the oldest jurisdictions in yes. this area. How many miles are we talking about of roads and also how many bridges? So we have 1,600 miles of roads and 39 bridges. And the 1,600 miles is roughly the same distance as I-5 travels from Canada to Mexico. Wow, that's a lot. And, and we're talking a lot of trips whether it's businesses or farmers getting right. their, their goods from one place to another, right. not to mention all the people who are trying to get to work, trying to get to school, places to go. Or to soccer games. Or to soccer games, all, all important soccer games. So we're, we're talking about a, a vast area. Um, so how are you able to maintain roads and bridges? Um, money is a problem. No, we're not. I mean, the bottom line is we're not. Um, those 1,600 miles have a replacement cost of about $40 billion, in fact, more than $40 billion. We're spending $90 million a year. Um, five years, six years ago, we had 600 and some employees who maintained those roads, and we were losing the battle at that point. Today, we have 300. Uh, we have cut the budget by over 50 percent, and the reason for that is a couple of fold. One is that we've incorporated a lot of areas, uh, areas that used to be in unincorporated King County and contributed to the maintenance of the roads, uh, are now inside of cities, and there is more. There are more people and more funding that have moved into the cities than roads. Mm -hmm. So, the number of road miles of road we have per unincorporated citizens is greater now than it was five, six years ago. The second thing was the Great Recession had a greater impact on the unincorporated area than it did on any other part of King County. We lost about $90 per household in terms of revenue uh, generated for specifically for roads. And, and what does that add up to? Just millions of dollars? Millions of dollars. That's, that's um, uh, about, between those two things, we've lost about $40 million a year. We hear often, you know, we're out of money. You know, government's out of money, whether it's county or city, you name it, but but taxpayers hear that a lot, yes. but these numbers sound pretty stark. I mean, it sounds pretty well, so serious. So I look at it two ways. One is, is that people think $90 million is a lot of money, but we think it would cost 300 to $350 million, roughly four times, to be able to maintain the roads that we have at the lowest life cycle cost, which means if we're at $90 million, we're either going to have to abandon roads or we're going to have to reconstruct them at some time in the future for a significantly higher cost than maintaining them would have required. There have been two things that have happened in terms of our funding. One of them is, is that the state has walked away from funding local roads. The last increase in the gas tax that gave a significant amount of money to local governments was in 1981. Since 1981, the 11 cents that we get has gone to 12 cents in 2005. That is a significantly smaller amount than inflation has eaten away out of that money. So statewide, 75% of the money that goes to local roads comes from sales tax or property tax that is collected for the general governmental purposes. King County and counties don't have that luxury. We have a $2.25 per thousand uh, levy on your, on your property that goes to roads, and as I said earlier, that levy has been reduced by both the number of, the amount of property that has left the county into cities, and by the fall in value of the property. We're almost out of time, but it sounds like the funding is not there, but we need to find a solution, you're saying. People have to decide whether roads are important. We've built more roads than we are willing to afford, and so we're looking at how we can abandon roads at this point. Fred, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you for the opportunity. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers, headline news at the top and bottom of the hour.